this is the ZSN Pro X. Should be the uh, newest model of it. This is what's inside. It has a nice little Apple-esque opening to it. Kind of, I say Apple-esque because it, uh, it obviously has a nice form factor to it and a nice style of opening. So what you get is the in-ear monitors and you get the cable which is what this is i'm assuming because there's obviously nothing else inside that indicates that it's a that it's not a cable and yeah. it has a microphone as well this is what the cable looks like it's a t rrs a tip ring ring sleeve style so the microphone will actually work and this seems these are extra ear tips move that over there softly <laughs> softly peel these out These are what they look like in their monitors. Feels very rigid, like the ear tips do. They feel very rigid in a sturdy type of deal. Like, they feel really good. They feel like they'll be reliable. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a review, so I'll give it about a week or two just to see how they actually are. Here's what the insides look like. Sorry, I do need to cut my nails. So, I noticed something when I was looking at the instructions. It says headphone burning knowledge right here. And it's basically telling you that you have to use the headphones without listening to anything. Like, don't plug them in your ears. Just listen to something 5 to 10 minutes long. And it'll complete the burn in which is what they're supposed to do and I see a lot of people reviewing these and they're doing it immediately and so it's not you're giving a false review if you're doing that once again here's the product I'll be leaving a link to the product in the description this is like day three three and a half maybe day four of using these since it's now Saturday, when I got them sometime late Tuesday, early Wednesday, it's kind of hard to remember. I have not been to bed yet, it's 8.09 in the morning, it just turned 8.10. But I've been using these, listening to music off and on, and I've also been using this with a DAW, a digital audio workstation. And I must say that the drivers are fully, like, kicked in now. And these, it's it's a game changer. These will definitely be added to what I use to mix music in general. I was also testing this with Xbox, like the uh, Xbox controller, and it's been, like, messing up. So, I don't know if that's on the controller end or not, because I use 
another headset and it didn't have that same issue so i will contact these like this company and reach out but other than that i personally use the xbox headset the xbox wireless headset to mix and uh, eq as well uh, i also use it for uh, spatial audio techniques same thing with my airpods pros and uh, what i was using to record and monitor before was uh, the RIG 400s HS or HX I forgot what the last part of it is but uh, this will definitely be something I use to mix as well along with the Xbox wireless headset that I was did before just to compare and contrast because the headset obviously has more bass to it, which these are amazing. These really are amazing when it comes to bass. And treble's really good too. Like the treble finally, you know, it finally just kicked in with using these like a day ago. And these are just immaculate. I cannot, I literally cannot, like, I can't, and I know I'm emphasizing it a lot, I cannot <laughs> just glorify these, especially for the price. These are amazing. They're on par with the Xbox wireless headset and the AirPods. They really are. They're that good. And I've been listening to lossless audio music through Apple Music. As for using these in a DAW, they're great. Listening to music is amazing as well. Using these in a phone call, you can, and it's really good. I did try to get a warranty claim. They were not having it. They wanted me to buy them again and then refund me both times, which is 100% against Amazon's terms of services. Now, it's weird but whatever i got a another pair no refunds whatsoever it's whatever now the thing is they ended up sending me a pair with no mic which is fine i can use them to monitor and stuff like that but i think it's kind of odd because it was ordered with a mic maybe they done it out of spite i don't know when you hear me using these and I go silent later on in the video, these do not support a mute button, so it's the fault of the in-ear monitor's microphone. All right, so what's up, guys? Uh, right now you're hearing me through the Xbox wireless headset. I sound good, correct? Yeah. Uh, here's my Elite controller. Alright, you can tell because it's red, obviously. So, let me do that real quick. So, saying bye to the Xbox wireless headset. Alright, you can't hear me, except for my phone audio. Right. I'd like to point out, right here is where you start to hear the difference between the phone audio and the live stream audio, where the IEMs had a speech delay. Oh. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, so they're tangled right now. I don't know why. I'd like to take a brief moment and let you know that the controllers were in a stable position, so I don't know why the popping sounds were being made. Two. Am I in a party? party? All right. right. This is gonna make it so much easier to show that I'm talking, okay, so talking. I'm talking, and, it's not, and it's not picking up, as you can tell, they are plugged in, uh, hello, hello, speaking, speaking, it's not coming through, hello, hello, alright, that was my Elite Series controller. Now we're going to try a different headset. Here it is. 
the Halo Infinite controller. I just plugged in. And apparently it's doing good so far. Don't know why there's a difference. Last time I tested this, it wasn't coming through clearly. Uh, the audio is really low for me, so we're going to fix that. Turn off mic monitoring. That I've had... So on the phone side of things, I just took out the IEMs. Okay, so as you can tell, I now have the Xbox wireless headset back on, and the audio should be much, much clearer, much more high quality. So a few things to note. I've had a few friends tell me that it sounded like I had a... Um, a loud fan in front of the microphone at all times whenever I'm speaking or when I'm not speaking that there's popping and cackling sounds and it sounds like static or white noise or something going on um I did hear some of the popping actually I heard that on the right side of like the IEM and at first I thought it was my tinnitus or the pressure in my ear or something. So, are these good for video production? Well, depending on how you like the audio of the microphone from this, then yes. I'll even leave a spot for overdubbing right here. If you like this audio quality from the inner monitors, then I would also get this for video production and not just music production. Remember to use this as a tool as needed. If you like the overdubbing portion of that, then leave a thumbs up and tell me in the comments. Now on to the other gaming portion of this video. I will be putting the Twitch live stream settings into the video as well. Spoiler warning, I must add that the iOS audio and video encoders are much better than the Xbox video and audio encoders. That's why you hear me much more clearly now than the upcoming clips. So if you like the audio from what you're hearing right now, if you're able to hear that, these are from the microphone of the KZ Acoustics ZSN Pro X or the Pro 10s. Would I use these for gaming? It's hit or miss, so personally me, I would say no. Just because of the complaints I got. They're hit or miss, the audio quality is great though. What would I use these for? I would use them to just mix and master music, monitor myself playing guitar, drums or whatever inside the DAW or just listening to music in general, but then they're just glorified earphones. And that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the content, I am out. Thanks for watching.